Hello, I'm RJ Cooper, uh, chef owner of a future restaurant, Row 24. Hope to be one of the most exciting dining destinations in Washington, D.C. and throughout the country. Uh, last, last September, Hilda, Judy, and I were walking out along the gallery and we were with Norman, Jamal, looking at some buildings that we just didn't have the right feel for this concept called Rogue 24. Then we looked out the door of Longview Gallery and found the, the building here, the charm of this building. It's got uh, great bones. It's got a, great, a lot of character in the, in the alley. It's different than going into a glass building downtown. It has feeling, it has culture, it has diversity, it has rawness, and it has spirit. So we're bringing that back to life in the alley. To, to make it you know, an art destination about food, about craft, and so forth, and bringing the old bones back to life. And that's why we kind of fell in love with this. Just look at the character and the diversity, and it looks like an urban city you could, it, that you could find in Manhattan, Chicago, San Francisco, Austin, Nashville. It's got this nice complexity about life and the rawness of city life. So that's why we kind of chose this area. So we're standing in the home of what's going to be Rogue 24. Uh, the concept of Rogue 24 uh, started at Vidalia with 24 courses for my partner, Hilda, who came in, who is the partner and the owner of Volt. And so they have 21 there, so I decided to go a little bit, three steps more for some reason and gave them 24. The food is about craft and, and about uh, finding the best product in the world and, and sourcing the best product to put on the table for guests to come in and enjoy it. It's an experience about craftsmanship, about singularly pieces of food, two bites, three bites. Our whole idea about the food is to, for you to enjoy it, want more until the next course comes and another totally you know, palate blowing beautiful uh, dish comes in. So how we designed the whole menu is to, to focus on the guests. So we're in the middle of the main dining room, which will be the main dining room once they start pouring and finishing. Uh, the idea of the cooking is to be in with the guests. So what we're building is an island kitchen. So we have three islands, which are these black poles sta standing up, where the chefs will be crafting the fare or the plates to go to our guests, which the tables are to our right and to our left. So no tables within less than 15 steps from a cook. And our, the idea is to have our guests be served by us, our chefs and our, and our staff that way, to talk about what we're doing, to feel the, the, the emotion and the passion that we have uh, to the food and, and the craft that we have. So the island is, is built in three forms. Uh, we have a cold and pastry station, which is the first station where there's going to be a group of four people that could sit at the, out, the outside of this, this, this bar, just like you would at your home. Then the middle station, which will be the hot station, which houses our equipment of, of uh, induction burners uh, and, and a rationale CVAP uh, to cook to the main line. Then the farthest station will be another cold station. So. We have four different stations because the main island could house six cooks to work the hot food and another three in the back. So we have plenty of staff to produce what we want to do. The idea is, again, to serve singular two or three bite pl you know, uh, plates so your emotions are, wow, that's fantastic. I want more, but the next course is coming. And within that, we have a beverage program. And the beverage program that we, we decided to do is eight pairings for 24 courses. And this is wine, spirits, and kind of off-the-wall uh, drinks to marry and to, to elevate the food that we're doing. Uh, we have two great beverage masters, one Matt Carroll, uh, the sommelier and the general manager of Rogue 24, who is competing for national sommelier of the, of the country. He has an advanced degree or advanced certificate uh, from the Court of uh, Sommeliers and is trying to get his master's sommelier. The other one is Derek Brown. Derek Brown, who is the owner and partner of Columbia Room, who is an internationally recognized uh, mixologist who's going to be developing cocktails with us, the culinarians, 
to elevate not only himself, but the cocktails itself. So our idea is to be in small handcrafted cocktails or spirits to transform them into cocktails, to use only ingredients that we make in the house, that, i.e. there's not gonna be Coca-Cola sodas or so on and so forth to mix. We're gonna do something like a pumpkin infused moonshine that's, in, that's mixed with uh, you know, a marquee pumpkin juice that's been spun into with infused with ginger and, and so forth. So it elevates the cocktail. Within the whole concept of, of, of the menu, we're offering two menus during the week, a 24 course and a 16 course menu. The 16 course menu uh, to make the, the business traveler a little bit more comfortable having a, having a business meeting here, so he'll be here, he or she'll be here for two to three hours. The 24 course menu, which is called the journey menu, the 16 course menu, which is called the, the progression menu, the, the journey menu is 24 courses, blow out, all, you know, and, and it's, it's, it's a lot of fun and passion that's going on with both, with both menus. But the 24 course has a great journey line to, to our intensity and our feeling of why we want to do food. As well, we're offering a, not a bar, but with a salon, a place that a guest, if you were walking into a, a very large home, uh, you would be invited to the salon for cocktails and canapes. So our salon will have our cordial and our aperitif cocktails, some uh, different wines to, to taste, some bubbles, as well as a six uh, plate a la carte menu for people to come in and just want to have a bite or two and, and, and leave. Then we go into the prep kitchen and so forth. This is our home. This is, this is Rogue, the future of Rogue.